Hello everyone, this is Snide and Sniff with a new comic. It's called Overfuel, and it's by Extra Baggage Claim. Let's do this. Justice comes in XXL, so we'll probably have some super heroic content. Obviously of the uh, plus size variety, so uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Yeah, finally a body positive superhero comic. Yes! Toronto, Canada. <laughs> Ah, mm -hmm. good setting. A messy office. Floor manager Candace Candy since February 2017. Ah! Sitting around with a button of something. Looks like a trackball mouse. Yeah. Hey, oop! Oh. Ha! Ah! Dun dun! She runs to the aid of some unfortunate dude. Clug, clug, clug. Screech! Larry! Candy! Help! Oh god! The taffy machine broke so badly it's overflowing its own control panel! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Crap! That's not coming off! Unless... Um, uh, um, um. Unbuttons their trousers. Because <laughs> they've need so much. I'm gonna need all the room I can get! Um, blob! Snap! Cancel! Wow. Clunk, 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 clunk! Slap! This looks like a panel straight out of JoJo. <laughs> Holy frick! <laughs> Ooh, page two of the comedy weight gain superhero parody comic known as Overfuel. Candace faces her first adversary, Taffy. Takes on this adversary and bravely saves Larry the Candy Scientist from a sticky tomb. Where is he? In the in there somewhere? Whoa! <laughs> Guess we'll see. Somewhere, yeah. Like, look, that dude's trapped in there. Thanks for the save, Candy. Don't mention it. But, uh, on that note, you do realise you could have just spit out the tapping. You could have said so a little sooner. Whoops. Funny as a thank you for your heroics, I've got these new candies. I needed to get rid of these things anyways. Just government issues. Really tasty though. You love candy, right candy? Of course I love myself! <laughs> so, wanna help get these off my hands? Dun -dun -dun -dun. Star bar, wow. Mm. Look Larry, I already saved your bottom once today, and in doing so I think I've had more than enough candy. Try to find some other way to dispose of your latest screw up. Later. Why am I like this? Sitting around listening to music, yeah. What, what what kind of music? I need to know what the frick. <laughs> At least it's sugar free. Oh well, that's mm. good, I guess. And actually, the star bars were cancelled because the Canadian government had decided that using a hydro condensed form of sugar to decant was making a product sugar free. And my day is done being weird. Zap! What the frick? Mortal, I am the spirit of energy. One of many spirits made to control vast powers for an ancient alien race, and one of the two most powerful! I have long slumbered dormant in my prison, but have now escaped! I cannot use my great powers in this state, so I have need of a body to bond with, and I have sensed your heroism! You shall be my vessel, and wield my great power! <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is getting dramatic. I feel weird. What are these bars? Ah! What the frick? So the bars are so high energy, they literally summon like the god <laughs> of energy to you. That's <laughs> epic. You thought experimental candy bars would be the source of their powers? So does she. Well, turns out it's an ancient alien power source spirit. Whoa. Yep, the, now that is high energy, if ever I saw some. Ring. Huh? What's up, Candy? Hey, Nina. Since you're an engineer, could you design gear for a superhero? I more than could. That's basically why I got this job. Why do you ask? Well, I might have some good news for you. What? You have to be certain. Don't get my hopes up. Pretty certain? <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, heading out now. That fast? Duh. How did this happen anyways? So every day your friend says, hey, I'm a superhero. <laughs> Please make me an outfit. Lumberjill. Where can I read that comic? 
I'm not entirely sure, but I think I ate radioactive candy bars. That sounds about right for you. Meet me at the barn. You sure about this? Being a superhero? Since I was eight. Wow, it's her dream. She'd be, <laughs> whose dream isn't it to become a superhero? Nah, no, actually, when I was eight, I probably wanted to be freaking like Aragorn or something, actually. <laughs> Alright, first let's record. Show me what you can do. It's only been about an hour, but I think they're based on energy. Boom! <laughs> what the f Don't <laughs> burn your friend, bro! I can choose where it comes out, and even how much and what kind a little, but I can't aim it. Wow, that was a lot more power than I was expecting. And your hair glows? My hair glows? Wow, it does! At least the clipboard protected them from the fire. <laughs> Thank goodness. Always trust your handy clipboard shield. Week one. Candace is getting better at aiming, but it's still far too unreliable. I have to make some support gear. Week two. Channeling Gauntlet allows her to aim powers better and with less impact on her environment and clothing. Oh yeah, she kind of did burn her friggin' clothing off. <laughs> Week three. Her powers are incredible, but they take a huge toll on her body. Oh no! <laughs> it seems, however, that Candace is lucky enough to have her powers fueled by sweets. Likely because she got her powers from an experimental candy bar. Well, that is a gr that is a pretty epic power source. Actually. What? No, you idiot! She got her powers from me, the spirit of energy! If I still had my own physical form, I'd kick your bottom! Her powers are fueled by mental focus. She just has such a severe sugar addiction, she can't focus without shoveling down sweets. So she thinks candy fuels her powers. My gosh, this is pretty... a pretty big a bit of a twist. Huh. The real superpower at work here is the placebo effect. Whoa. Week four. We started finding new utilities for her powers, like flight. She's basically, she's Iron Man now? What the heck? Week five. She's getting better at controlling which types of energy she puts out. Week six. Her hair glow is the result of a powerful energy field which protects her from external damage and also her own powers recoil. Hopefully they didn't test that initially with the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> but she's shooting at friggin' rocket things. Hmm. Week seven. Her output keeps increasing. Week eight. Powering her abilities has had a severe effect on her appetite and her waistline. Dun 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 dun! Wow. Hmm. Cool mask, yes. Goodness, she's gonna be friggin' one punch woman at the end of this. Looking good, overfuel! I agree, but did it have to be so tight? Wow, you've put on a few since I measured you, and it isn't easy to find fabric that's stretchy and fireproof. I'm joking, mostly. Just wish I had a chance to use... it. Huh. Not to chair for a fire, but that's... convenient timing. Good luck! Yeah, time to save the city. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, it's a fire? Who the hell? A hero, where can I help? Is screaming at the top floor. Crackle. <sighs> Snap. Whoosh. <sighs> Don't worry, I've got you. Yeah. This is actually turning out to be a like legit superhero comic. This is this is amazing. <laughs> if you're a superhero, why is your tummy so big? Jesus, lady, do you have no frigging? Superheroes can be any size. What the heck? Krista, you can't! It's okay. I need to eat candy to make my powers work, so I eat a lot. Oh. Oh, it's really big. You should try having vegetables power you instead. This mother has not taught her daughter the ways of body positivity. What the heck? Daddy, the fat lady saved us. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Who else might need my help? A neighbor in 808 can't get out on her own. I'm on it! Oh man, this is extra hero points! An elderly woman? Or a woman in a wheelchair? Ha! Ah. <laughs> oh no! Wow. Okay then. <laughs> hey, I'm not exactly thrilled at the situation either. Wow, uh, more large ladies, well. 
It's... <coughs> okay. There's no way you could <coughs> get me out of here. I <coughs> understand. How selfless of you. But you don't need to worry. I'm saving everyone today. For starters, let's clear the smoke. Crap. Out of fuel. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Do you have any sweets or candy around? You're a fat woman. Surely you do. <laughs> <laughs> um... Never mind. Dumb question. Greek. <laughs> oh, of course. Fat right. cat. Of course well. they do well. Oh yeah, this will work. I get stress eating, but is this the time? Um. Oh. It is. Now hold on. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Of course they're not going to save them. Do you think they will? Get back here! What the frick? Ah! Oh, wow. Okay, there. There you go. <laughs> ah! Something weird happened to her face in that one. I was just going to say. <laughs> Thanks so much for stepping in. There's no way we could have saved her without your help. Whew. Can I get your name so I know what to tell the reporters? My name... Candace eggs out her plan to save the bedbound woman and brings her to safety in a true act of heroics. But it seems her binge may have caused some tension. You can call me Overfuel. Rook. <laughs> ah. Oh crap! The most dramatic way to end your superhero comic. Wow, that is the end of chapter one, but we will be back with chapter two. Hope yeah. you'll like this. This definitely had more of a realistic sort of, I guess, superhero. Comp yeah, this is a, a little bit like um, freaking Lois Lane. The world's your. Oh my ever, gosh! So yes. I hope you will like this. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and see you next time, um, with whatever it is that we are we are reading next time. So, bye.